Hi, and thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to talk about using Google Meet for lectures or live webinars for distance learning. Now, you may be familiar with Google Meet or you may have heard of it as Google Hangouts. They're actually two separate tools now. Um, so if you want to go to Google Meet, you do have to go to meet.google.com. And to get started, you just click join or start a meeting. Go ahead and put in a name for your meeting. And you'll always want to make sure that whatever name you put in there helps the participants identify what you're going to be talking about. So if it's a meeting, uh, say like a textbook meeting or a leadership meeting, put that in there. But if it's for lecture purposes for your class, uh, call it whatever you need to for that lecture. Then click continue. And from here, it'll ask permission to use your camera or your microphone. That might be a pop-up at the top left. Mine's already enabled and I don't have a camera today, so um, that pop-up will not appear either. When you're ready to get started, click join now and it will give you some information that you can use to give your participants. Now, if you haven't created this meeting through Google Calendar, which that is also an option, uh, it will give you your joining info that you can click to copy and that will be copied to your clipboard. So then if you'd like to create a meeting on your calendar to let everyone know how to join your meeting, you just click create from your calendar and more options and then you can paste that information in the description of the meeting at the bottom. So that's all they really need to join the meeting. Um, if you're using a calendar event to initiate the meeting, you can also click add conferencing up here and choose hangouts meet and then add your participants. But since I've done this an alternate way, I'm going to leave my calendar here and go back to my meeting. And I also have the option of just adding people. Now, if you add people here, you can put in their email addresses and they will get an email notifying them that they've been invited to a meeting, but it's better to set this up ahead of time through a calendar event like I just previously showed you so that people know how to get in ahead of time. Once you're ready to go, you can close this menu and I'm going to show you a couple of the features that you might want to turn on uh, as you're using Google Meet for online webinars or lectures. The first one is turn on captions. Now if you click turn on captions, it'll start working immediately. As you can see here, everything that I'm saying into the microphone is being captioned on the screen, which is great if you have students that have their audio turned down while they're listening, they can see everything that you're saying, or if there's just a problem with the audio feed on their end. I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off for now. The other option is in the more menu down here at the bottom right, the ability to record your meeting. Now this is a feature that if you don't see it, you do have to have it enabled by whoever your Google admin is ahead of time. So if you don't see it here, contact your Google admin and they can change those settings in the admin console. You have some other options on here like turn on captions like I just showed you previously. You can also have a full screen option or you can also change your layout. But I'm going to click record meeting and just note that if you're going to use this feature, you do have to have the consent of all participants to record the meeting before you go forward. So just let your participants know in the calendar event that you will be recording the meeting if they're unable to attend, but this also lets other participants know that it will be recorded. Once you're ready, click accept, and you'll notice that it says recording will start soon, and when this icon like it just did, then you're ready to go. Now beyond that, Depending on what you're presenting, it might just be you talking on the screen with a webcam or you might need to present something. So if you need to present what's on your screen, you just go to the bottom right and click present now. Now I do happen to have a slideshow set up for these purposes, so I'll click present now. And I'm going to choose not my entire screen, but just a specific window since I have several open right now. And this is the one that I want. I'll click on it and then click share. So at this point, all participants are seeing what's on my screen. And when I'm finished, I'll need to click stop sharing or here, stop presenting. Now I can go to my tab where my slideshow is open and I can click present. And I can go through my slideshow, clicking on my slides, talking through each slide. And then when I get to the last slide, I'll just hit escape. And then 
I can go back to my tab where my meeting is and then I can click stop sharing. So if you have participants that weren't able to be here and you want to make use of that recording, all you have to do is go to the bottom right at the end of the meeting, click on your more button, and then click stop recording. It'll ask you if you really want to stop recording, so you click that option. And then soon after your meeting is finished, you'll get a notification by email that your recording will show up in your Google Drive. It will show up in your Google Drive in a folder called Meet Recordings. Now a couple of other things that you'll want to know as you're doing this is that troubleshooting a webinar like this, you may have some people that aren't familiar with Google Meet, so if they're having trouble hearing you, um, they'll need to make sure that their volume is turned up, obviously. And if um, they have a lot of feedback going on in the background or if they have a lot of noise in the background, you might want to tell them to mute their microphone. So down at the bottom, you have these three controls. You have mute microphone or turn off microphone. You have leave call, and then you have your video settings. So you can turn your video camera on or off. Some people may not want their image or their face on the meeting, so they can turn off their camera there as well. When you're finished with the call, click leave call, and then you can click return to home screen. And so because I've done this with a recording, I should be able to go back to my Gmail or to my Google Drive now and find that recording. So let's take a look. So it doesn't appear that it's there yet, but here's a recording that I made previously, and if I double click on that, I can, I can see that video playing, and I can see what they were able to see on their end. It shows not only my slideshow, but who's presenting the slideshow. And you can share this recording if you want to, just make sure that you right click and click share and make sure that you set up your shareable link so that anyone with the link can view. And then you're ready to grab that link, that get shareable link, it'll copy it to your clipboard and then you can send that out by email to anybody that might have missed the webinar. So that's a little bit of information on how to use Google Meet. If you have any questions, you can always visit my website at www.techiecoach.com or you can find me on YouTube. Thanks for joining me.